uh, always stand a chance of doing well. But one is also very excited with Riyadh because a lot of people uh, ruled him out very quickly. Uh, and Wendell has always kept the belief uh, that he believes this boy has got a lot of good things that not many people were aware of. Firstly, if you check the game today, uh, how stable he makes us to, to build from the back because technically he's very good with his feet. And that is very important for Sundowns. And Kennedy also is strong in that aspect. And uh, you, you know the benefits we've always had with, uh, with Goss and, uh, and Dennis in that space. So the work that uh, Wendell is doing in that space must never really be taken for granted. We, we are very proud and honored to work with a goalkeeper coach of his quality. Thank you, Coach. Colleagues, a reminder just to please have our phones on silent. Mr. Miyando, please go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, Coach, congratulations on uh, the effective victory and uh, closing again uh, to the cross stage, to, to the knockout phase. Um, I think until you introduced Erasmus, you didn't have a, an out and out um, striker um, looking at, I think you had Kapenga and Domingo. Uh, yet Ralani uh, as well. Is this the luxury that you have that you can go for line any time and still produce goals? Because I think before you ended up the field there were two already two goals. Um, and how crucial or critical is are this kind of tactics as you enter this phase of the season? What is more important for us uh, as, as the Sundowns coaches is to to always present a very good element of surprise in our game. Because uh, with this technology, everybody is able to, to watch every match. Uh, if you were to check the last maybe five matches, probably have played with three shapes. Uh, but uh, of late, it has worked uh, very well for us uh, when we had Temba as a false nine, Hashim as a false nine, Kapinga as a false nine, Surprise as a false nine because we, we had some benefits tactically that uh, one would not want to, to disclose, but it has always worked well. And in some matches, we've, we've had Peter with Tapelo in wide channels, uh, creating a very good surprise for the center backs at the right moment. But it's one area of the game that we still have to work very hard on. But uh, one must say, the boys are, are showing interest in learning because that is the most important thing. Uh, we, we are trying not to be as generic as, as we can. We, we are improving the team and working very hard in making sure that our players are multifunctional because that's very important as we go to the next stage. Today we had Grant playing as right back and he played very well. We were happy because what we wanted from him was more of an inverted uh, fullback that does not really go forward that much and creates uh, a lot of 1v1s for Alani on the channels, which first half I think it did exceptionally well in that space, but we, we can improve. There are still areas of improvement in our game. Thank you, Coach. Do we have any other questions? We'll take the last two. Go ahead. Ask if you can go ahead. Oh, okay. So, Coach, uh, I think the, speaking the last couple of matches, maybe seven, eight, the only blemish that one could pick from your side was the two goals considered in the previous match in the Champions League, and then that loss to, to, to Marisbeck United. As, as you move forward, you know, are those some of the things that, that you'd want to change, concede less, and then maybe try to bounce back, especially in the league against uh, against Soros? And uh, just a follow up on Bailey as well. I mean, can it that goal? We know him to produce that kind of, uh, you know, uh, stunning moments. But uh, what I hope this would do to his confidence, to, to to his game, as he is someone who's always hungry for goals. Yeah, maybe let me first congratulate Kemet for for getting that goal. It's very important for Sundowns. Uh, also congratulating George for the goal that he scored because we also believe it was very important for him. To, to get a goal in this match because he's been working very hard. I'm sure you saw how much weight he has lost and he's looking very sharp and he, he had a very decent performance. And Kemit also has been trying hard at times over inches and even playing one touch because he's trying to get a goal. And it's not nice for a striker not to get a goal for too long in, in a season. <clears throat> but uh, when he got that goal, we are also confident that it will lift his confidence and it will make him to to 
to focus more on, on, on the game than always worrying that I've not scored, I've not scored because that is also something we had to work very hard on. Peter at some stage there was a drought and we had to try and work very hard in bringing him back and making sure that he starts scoring. And now that he has started scoring, we, we, we are confident that we are going to have a very healthy competition in that space. Going into the goals we considered, first starting from the Merrisburg goals, I think those goals were, were all wrong. They were not supposed to have counted. I would not really look at that as a blemish to, to the team because I think it's a blemish to the officials uh, on that one. But uh, on, the, on the two goals we considered in the Champions League uh, against Tilal, I think we we had to concede those goals because we wanted to win that match. We had to give ourselves a chance to to push them to the limits and uh, unfortunately when we're one man down you, you are expected to, to, to concede a goal when you are trying to push for a result. Uh, in fact it's, it's, it's surprising how we could score so many goals when, when we are already one man down because I think three goals when we are already one man down it's, it's, it's very big for the team. Uh, we, we would take the, the fact that we considered two goals and managed to score four in that game, uh, maybe with a, with a pinch of salt again, because the penalty that we considered in that match, uh, Riyad was fouled and we ended up considering a penalty when actually the goalkeeper was the one fouled by the striker. But uh, now that is, that is history. We just appreciate the fact that the team is conceding less and less. Uh, the team is, is losing less and less. I think in the past two years, we have lost three matches, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe four with Peru start. But uh, the boys are looking very good. Thank you, Coach. Colleagues, I'll take the very last question. Uh, over to you, Mr. Mion. Yes, uh, Coach, um, I know that we touched on it uh, midweek. Um, looking at the potential second place finishers, do you? Do you, do you have a destination that you fancy um, within the, the three teams that you could, you could be meeting? And I also wanted to touch on, uh, on George as well, um, seeing how long he's been out and at some stage he's also been ruled out um, in some quarters um, that maybe his time could be up at sundowns. In terms of the confidence also, um, and, and especially as people who work with him on a daily basis, and the importance of not just um, the goal, but um, the performance. You know, maybe starting with the, with the issue of George. As a coach, and I'm sure all the coaches would feel the same, because a lot has been said about him. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, uh, we must give credit to the boy. He has worked very hard very hard to get himself uh, into the team and he's been unfortunate in many other instances where he would be in the team that we earmark for the game and he gets injured in the last day of uh, training before the match and uh, he's had maybe those scenarios maybe three four times this season uh, when we saw him, finally saw him getting a chance and starting a match it's what we all wanted because uh, if you have seen how much weight he has lost, I think he has lost more than seven cages from the time he came at Sundowns. And that is, is very big uh, and consistently so because this year he's, he's been in top shape from the beginning. But uh, very unlucky when, whenever an opportunity has to come. And we, we are happy that finally he got an opportunity and uh, he also scored a very, very good goal that you would not expect from George, to be honest. But uh, you know George in the past was a striker and he was good in the air at some point so when he scored it we, we really appreciated it because it shows uh, how multifunctional he can be and there is still more he can, he can offer the club uh, I don't remember the second question The second question was about uh, who do you fancy in the next stage ahead of the draw on Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite tough that one because in as much as you would want to, to choose an opponent but you must also be considerate of the traveling. Uh, you would always want any anyone that will give you a better travel that does not have maybe transits and all that more direct. And uh, the direct one has got the Angola. Angola is, is looking very strong. Their team is, is very powerful. They've done very well. 
so you you would not want to to look at that but you at this stage of the season when you are competing in in three competitions at the same time you want to minimize the risk uh, of long travels minimize the risk of spending too much time in the airport in transit so that the team can always be fresh we are from this match now we are going to swallows on wednesday it's already that says to you we've got a very big responsibility to try and make sure that we keep the team fresh but the good thing is that we we have improved the pool of the team i think this is the biggest thing we've done in the past two seasons to make sure that we don't have too many players that have not had game time i think at this stage uh, you would count one or maybe one goalkeeper ricardo in that space uh, maybe promise and pole in, in in the league because they are not registered in the champions league as players that not that have not had uh, game time but the rest of the squad has had an opportunity to play and that is very positive for us because it makes everybody to be available for 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 for, for the team or the coaches if they want to use any of the players in okay a little bit with some of the injuries that we've had but uh, the good thing is that the players that are given an opportunity in the absence of others they are also showing what they can offer the team and one must really give credit to the whole group i think uh, we, we have a very very good team uh, in terms of personalities you can see the improvement that you can see you know aj he has played how many matches this year already and that is very positive for the team because we don't have players that we at times are absent from training and we've got issues of lifestyle and all that the team has been good in that space and credit should be given to the leadership of the team because i think in that space uh, everybody from the president on top uh, has made sure that we've got a team that is fully committed to to give their best and i think uh, our chairman being around the team a lot has also helped to a, to a certain extent because when players are able to talk to to their leaders regularly they don't have issues that are always hanging and that is, is a very big plus to to the team and we we are confident with the atmosphere that is prevailing now we we've got a team that is is capable of competing in all these fronts but we just have to take each game as it comes thank you very much coach uh, members of the media that brings us to the conclusion of today's press conference uh, coach all the best for